we're back. Inside Team Man Elite Race Edition. Morning, Sunshine. Good morning. How are you doing on this beautiful Thursday morning? Oh my gosh, I could not ask for a more beautiful day. Look at this. Sun is shining, birds are chirping. I'm running a race. It's good, perfect. Let's talk about that. Hello everyone. I am running a race tonight. First time in like 10 months. I'm terrified, but it's gonna be fun. I've never done a shakeout from my house on a race day. Weird. Not even in I've never school. slept in my, oh yeah, I've slept in my own bed. Yeah. We're going to a uh, dirt road, like two minutes from my house that I have logged way too many miles on. And we're gonna go run two miles. Two miles in the morning, very slow. <laughs> two miles in the evening, and hopefully about half the time I'm about to run right now. <laughs> That's terrifying to think about. Yeah. <laughs> The goal of the shakeout run is to not feel like a 90 year old man by the end of it. Just some good blood flow. How old are you feeling right now? I'm like 65 working my way down. <laughs> I think I'm scared about just like, I feel like I have put some expectations on myself of how fast I'm gonna run, and I think that's good because I think that's gonna incentivize me to push, but I also think like, I haven't done this in a long time, so um, that pressure is, can be nerve wracking for sure. All right, shakeout is done. Gonna go get some breakfast and hang out with the fam until the race, so we'll see you guys soon. I can drive. What? I can drive. Mom, we need to put the bike. The bike can go in Drew's car. You got your keys? Get up here. We hug Drew. Okay. Oh. And he's only doing that to get in the YouTube video. I want that to be known. She wants clout from this. Wait. You have your phone. You have everything you need. You got your spikes. Actually, no. <laughs> Jacob, you You're are kidding you. me. No, I'm not kidding you. Oh yeah, I'm absolutely terrified right now, but it's also very fun, so it'll be good. This is like the most hype I've ever gotten for a race, and it's a time trial in front of my family. This is the Olympic Games. Oh, this is my Olympic Games. I am treating this exactly like I would treat a race at five o'clock. So meal timing, um, hydration, uh, you know, keeping my legs up throughout the day. Uh, I think like, Although it is a time trial, I feel like I'll take myself a little bit more seriously if I treat it like a race. So, um, so yeah, eating a banana like two hours out from uh, when I go. So last, last little bit of food. Take a walk next to me. Yeah, here we go. Uh, How much time out from the race? And what's the plan? We've got an hour and 10 minutes until I go off. Um, and uh, the plan is to warm up in like 30 minutes or so. And then um, at five, we're gonna send it. So good, what's, oh, baby. what's your plan for the race? What do you do? My plan is to get through at least 800, you know, keep him right on that uh, 416, 418 pace and then if I'm feeling it, I keep going. 
and then maybe uh, maybe the last 600 to 800 also help, help him kick it in, you know. So we'll see though. All depends on how I feel. Well, like Grace, all I mean is I want you to be like, like I want you to be like five or six feet away from mom so she can just be like, all right, 64, and then like. Okay, I, I can do that. Yeah, it's super easy. I, I believe the strategy is uh, negative splits, am I correct? Yes. Okay, what are we trying to hit? I think I want to run 416 to 418 through the first mile. Okay. So, because if I'm hurting, that is like enough to still run under my goal. And then if it's easy, I can pick it up and still make up some time in the last 800 or so. Yeah. How does that sound? That sounds cool. like a good plan okay. for Drew Hunter. Good. Feeling baby? I feel great. Once I start running, though, I won't. <laughs> I'm really excited. I haven't raced in a while, not as long as Drew, but I'm excited to pace him. I'm very excited to pace him, yeah. May not feel too good, but it's good to get on the track and get some fast done, so. Honestly, pretty nervous. Um, haven't done this in a long time. First time in spikes, so we'll see. Keep fighting, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. There you go. Keep it going. Run down there. I need everybody here. Relax, relax. Keep going, everybody. I'm on a bike time, guys. Good job, big man. Dang, 8.36. Woo! <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Out of the way. That was fun. Oh, let's go. 8.36. 8.36. Hasn't raced in 9 to 10 months. Same. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah, man. How'd you feel? That was so hard. I know. I have not done anything like that in so long and but man <coughs> it feels so good to do that I think uh, <coughs> I think it's so important right now to do things that get you out of bed every morning and that's what running does for me so oh I'm man hacker tomorrow yeah Yeah, my body feels great. Yeah, no, it's fine. Good. You ran 416, 420. Yeah. I, uh, <clears throat> I knew about a mile in, like, the best case scenario was I run another 416. Right. Um, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, no. I'm stuck with it. Like, that's gonna give me a big, a big boost in fitness. It's good. So, yeah, we are, uh, like, 30 minutes post time trial and, uh, still feeling a little <laughs> bit of the hurt, but. Um, it feels really good. I mean, I think uh, a few months ago, like I would have been happy to run an 836 mile, one mile, uh, just because I was so injured and so kind of down in the dumps with my running. So it feels amazing to be back out here. Um, and just to be able to do it in front of like my loved ones feels uh, kind of surreal. And yeah, and I, um, and I just really appreciate all of you for kind of tuning in and um, showing some care and support. Hey guys, sorry for ruining the live stream. Hope you can all forgive me. Good night.